It was a gloomy day across the area and we had a big change with those clouds that moved in a little bit of breeze and you see here live. This is right outside of our studios here in Savannah. You see those low clouds and just mainly light drizzles what we saw uh, throughout the uh, say afternoon. But earlier this morning we did have a little bit of heavier downpours that really didn't produce a whole lot of rain like I showed you at the top of the hour. Uh, most spots had less than a quarter of an inch and here we go for your headlines and more unsettled weather once again for tomorrow as well and it's looking like showers will be likely. I'll show you that and the storm tracker model will be tracking those showers moving through throughout the daytime tomorrow. Chilly temperatures and also more wet weather also for early next week. I know a lot of people probably have a good part of next week uh, off with a Christmas coming up on Thursday and you're going to see some a good chance for rain all the way through about uh, Wednesday. Tomorrow is the first day of winter, winter solstice, which means the Earth's axis is tilted furthest from the sun and the uh, the direct angle of the sun will be right over the uh, Tropic of Capricorn in the southern hemisphere for tomorrow. The good news is we're going to see longer days coming because that sun begins headed back closer to the equator after tomorrow. And officially, winter starts tomorrow at 6.03 early in the evening. So and we're getting through winter here and it's looking like I've been looking at some long range models. We're going to see some cold air coming in uh, probably toward the end of this year and especially in January. But look at the shower activity that is moving through. This is mainly light rain. Been tracking these showers all evening long and they've been mainly moving up to the south, lifting to the north. Midway had a little bit of light rain. Richmond Hill, you're still seeing a little bit of sprinkle. This is like I said, just a light rain showers, kind of a little bit of ponding of water on the roads, but a no big deal out of this kind of a nuisance of a rain with those a little bit of drizzle at times, even for the low country from or say from downtown Savannah up into the low country as seeing these showers in Hilton Head all the way through Bluffton along Highway 278 in Hardyville as seeing these showers. And this is going to continue once again for tomorrow as well. Look at the temperatures that we started or actually in the evening that is uh, 48 degrees in Stakesboro, 49 for Metter, 49 for Sylvania, 53 uh, for Savannah and and also we're seeing mid 50s down in the Darien and the low country there Hilton Head 53 51 and Buford. Here's that remainder of the weekend forecast for tonight. Lows dropping down to near 46 degrees, light rain showers and a good chance for showers tomorrow. Now it would not rain all day tomorrow, be kind of on and off showers all the way through the afternoon. Look at that high tomorrow, only 56 degrees, almost a carbon copy of what we had today. Now the reason we're seeing this unsettled weather stalled out front just to the south of us areas of low pressure will continue to ride along the front as we go into tomorrow and watch the storm tracker model we will go all the way through. Let's say it's about 24 hours from now. There's that light rain and all the way through early tomorrow morning. When you wake up tomorrow, if you're headed out doing some shopping tomorrow morning into the afternoon, look at these rain showers continue to push through all the way into the evening at 11 o'clock. You kind of see how it's kind of just scattered about throughout the daytime, but one thing we'll see all day are lots of low clouds all the way through the afternoon headed out on the boat. Not a great day tomorrow. We'll see northeast winds. It will be breezy 15 to 20 knots seas between three and four feet. Look at the beach water a temperature at 56 degrees and there's the high and low tides for tomorrow. We're coming up on a high tide tomorrow morning at 708 and they'll have a low tide tomorrow afternoon at 141. Storm tracker seven day forecast. I was talking about this wet weather that will continue Monday all the way through Wednesday and it's looking like a really good chance for rain on Wednesday, especially as a strong cold front pushes through. Now that front is going to clear us out just just in time for Christmas Day. Lots of sunshine on Christmas. Afternoon highs near 56 and back up into the 60s by Friday and also.